Richard, your body speaks. This is what you were, you were supposed to be accomplishing in your fifth speech with us. And this was a very emotional speech. You, what I want you to think about is, and everybody to think about is, an emotional speech needs some relief. And that you could tie in, your body speaks to give us that relief. You know, I was getting pretty wrapped up and there was a very somber mood in, with the group. And you had a couple of key spots where, you, where I wanted you to give us that relief. And that's what I want you to work on and improve on. Your eye contact is excellent. And that's one of the, one of the uh, tenets of your body speaks is eye contact with everyone in the room. And it is excellent. I think you've very much accomplished that. Your gestures are, I believe Brad pointed this out last week, were right in here. Rather than, and you did a couple of, you made a couple of movements like this and with your hands, but you really want to get us, you really want to suck us in. You really want us to feel this, but also accomplish some relief during the speech. Because otherwise you're draining energy from us rather than giving us the energy. Your facial expressions were also well done. I noticed you were distracted in the beginning and in the end, but that was natural because you had some noise to your left and you had a cell phone to go off somewhere, which actually kind of broke the tension because you had a little bit of, you know, now you had the smile. So we all related to, to how your father, and, and it's, it's really true, I mean, everybody in this room knows somebody or has a family member who's struggled with, with drugs and or alcohol, and I think that Although I love your, your prop, I don't think that really added to the whole um, um, uh, message. Or I think you know, you, we talked about this or where you should put it. And although it means a lot to you, I, I think it really didn't mean a lot to the audience. <clears throat> Overall, I, I was was drawn in by the speech. Use the use the manual to learn from, and really focus on each one of the lessons, and, and go for that. Thank you. Thank you, John. As you can see, once you get a little bit more advanced in our club, and you give a couple of speeches, you get really honest evaluations and. I wrote on Richard's card, I thought this was the best speech I'd ever seen you give, just from a stance and, and the flow of your speech. But I love John's evaluation with the things that you can improve upon. And I really like that about our club. So everything here is said in love and, and goodwill. Next one, I'm Karen O'Brien. Get your butt in there. Thank you, John. Thank you, John. Yeah. 
about what they what you read in one of those silly emails. But one thing that really caught me, and it was not about the speech delivery, was the part of the email where she gave the initials of, of the company, and that is one of my biggest pet peeves, and you and I have talked about before, of, of pet peeves about on TV, and they always just give initials, and they never tell what it is, and I don't know what they're even talking about. So I thought, I thought you, you really, your hook is good, of course your delivery is good, and the premise of it was very unique <laughs> because I just would not have thought of giving a speech about that, but I will. <laughs> <laughs> the next time I have to give one and I'm not prepared, I'll just read it. <laughs> <laughs> it was, your speech was entertaining, and as far as thinking of anything you could improve on, I mean, Come on, okay. Terry, hit me, yeah, come on. You had, your story, you had your story and you told it. <laughs> so, that's it. <laughs>